Dr. M here looking at the health aspects of the uh, May Watch 2020 SW023 watch. There are a multitude of reviews on YouTube, so please watch them. This is just focusing today on some of the health measures, the oxygen saturation, the blood pressure, the pedometer, and the heart rate. Please note that my conclusions are based on my personal use and the way I've set up the instrument. It does not mean it may be the same for you. So please look at other videos on YouTube before you decide about the watch. I just wanted to have an opportunity to measure how accurate these are for me. One function on the AMA watch is oxygen saturation. Good thing to know nowadays with the illness going around. So I'm using an oximeter on the same hand as the watch. And let's see how they come out. It's going around and around. OK, the watch takes a little longer than the oximeter. And let's see, the watch had me at 95% oxygen saturation, and the oximeter shows 99%. Off those few points on an oximeter makes a difference, but both are still within the normal range. It's going, 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 dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Going, going. Uh -huh. The heart rate is 65 on the MA watch, and on the oximeter, I just went to 62, and on the oximeter, it's also 62, 62 on both. Now I'm using the blood pressure function, and as you can see on the blood pressure machine, I had 132 over 81. On the MA watch, it was different. On the watch, it's 119 over 74. The uh, blood pressure is the only thing that I can't get accurate. You do have to calibrate the blood pressure part of the watch. And I followed the instructions. I did it several times, but I can't get the watch blood pressure to match the blood pressure as you would take it with a cuff on the arm. There is also a pedometer on the watch, which I found to be very accurate. I tested it against a, another self-standing pedometer, and they came out just about the same. Very useful, especially for counting the steps during the day and reaching the goal. The watch with the app on the phone that accompanies it does a pretty good job, especially for approximately $49 instrument. So I would recommend the watch. It, of course, is a $49 instrument. As I said, it's going to have some limitations, but the watch does much more in terms of measuring other types of sports activities, sleep activity, getting your text messages. The list goes on and on. And as I said, watch some of the other videos on YouTube that will give you a review of the watch. My purpose here was to look at some of these health measuring functions. And again, these were my personal experiences and personal opinions. You'll have to look at other videos to see what other people found. Bye-bye.